Is that your position yeah. this year? How's that going with those guys? Uh, it's fun, man. You know, just we got the right guys in. And uh, the guys that were here before has just been growing exponentially. And uh, it's fun. You know, spring ball is a time of a lot of growth and a lot of strain. Uh, I talked to him about the, the glory being in the fire. Uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, Winnebago, that's where they were at. You know, they had, to, they had to get the glory in the fire. So there's no way uh, to it but through it. And uh, the new guys are doing great, um, all of them. You know, whether it's Rondell, uh, PJ, Trace, and we got Taylor Wan coming in the summer, and uh, he's he's itching to get here, and so it's good. The group is the group is gelling. They're finding their identity. You know, a lot of attention on PJ coming in. Just how's he adapting to the college game? Yeah, it's great. You know, he he's who he's been, and uh, he's a special he's a special dude. You know, he's a special talent, and he's longer than Monday afternoon, man. But he's um, he's a special human being, and his his mom, Mr. Really, and his dad, Mr. Adney, did a really good job raising him. And uh, his brother Tommy is going to have great success. Went to Northwestern and blew up the, the Senior Bowl and the, the Combine and ran a four four nine at two eighty two. You know, I ran a four four nine thirty yard dash. <laughs> and uh, but so it's just, he comes from the same stock, so he's doing great. You. Uh, mentioned Trace. How has he he done? I know he's a little bit limited here in the spring, but just as far as acclimating and just how unusual is that? Yeah, I and, mean. And what was your, uh, you know, feelings about him when you saw him at OSU? Yeah, um, I was praying to Jesus that we could get him uh, once he entered the portal. And, you know, for me, I, I appreciate the rivalry and I appreciate the bad blood. I kind of like it. I really like it. Um, we had that with uh, Clemson and South Carolina and all the special robberies around college football. But I think for Trace, it was making a decision that was best for him. You know, he's an Oklahoma kid. He loves Oklahoma. He loves fishing. He loves his family. He's got a big family. And, um, and he wanted to be close to them. And, uh, you know, sometimes you need a fresh start. And so, um, you know, uh, in-state local kid out of Santa Fe High School, um, you know, dreamed of playing for the Sooners, and, and he finally got a, sh a shot. And I'm really glad I'm the I'm the edge coach, and so he's he's doing awesome, learning a lot, really really eager, and um, it's really been, it's been fun seeing the the group, uh, the dynamic of the group now compared to last year, and just with the guys that are still here, uh, their development, their maturity, their buy-in, and the new guys coming in. You know, we did a lot of hard work trying to. They have a foundation for who this this program is going to be under Coach Venables. Who are we going to be as trying to build the uncommon man? Who's one team one twenty nine going to be? Um, and so it's been fun. You know, it's a there's a lot of guys that were here before, but in some ways uh, it is. It's a new team. One t team one twenty nine. It's a new team, and you can feel that. Um, you get more out of them by, man, just staying faithful, you know, you, you, you beat the drum with the, um, the same message you had before. If the message was bad, you got to change the message. And uh, we know what it looks like. And we know what elite defense, um, defensive scheme, defensive toughness, defensive effort, defensive efficiency, we know what it looks like. And... Um, you got to, and our, our strength staff, man, the Schmidt, he's the best. I'm just telling you, I would look like Arnold Schwarzenegger if I spent time with him. I don't. <laughs> uh, I don't. I ain't got time to. But if I did, I would look great. And um, they've just, you know, whether it's uh, um, our elite recovery staff and Schmidt, and it's just another year in the program. You know, the guys learning the new defense and offense on both sides of the ball, um, there's just growing pains in this transition. And, you know, I think consistency as a coach, showing up every day. Um, um, the, uh, the world isn't burning. Uh, the sky isn't falling. And, man, be faithful. And stay true to the process. TTP, trust the process, man. Trust the process. And uh, there's, a, there's, there's a method behind the madness. And so um, we can see that with, with my guys. Uh, and I was talking about my guys. They know it's, it's really, it's fun seeing them 
know, putting in a call or putting in a new call or the same verbiage is used. And we've been using the same verbiage now for 15 months. You know, well, it's not the first month. It's not the eighth month. And that's why I saw all our guys progress throughout the season. You know, just watch the tape. We got better and better and better and played their butts off at Florida State and hats off to Florida State for a great win. The last, every week, the last half of the season, it just got better. You know, you learn a verbiage. Oh, that's what he means by that. You might say, man, like, I told you one time. You got to tell him a thousand times. And uh, so I think just the conditioning of uh, the scheme, the verbiage, um, the culture, and then just trusting the process. I bet those guys are done. Well, yeah, I, I, this is what I'll say, but if there's a guy on this team right now, he's really motivated. All right, you go six and seven at Oklahoma, I don't know what else needs to motivate you. Number one, you're motivated because you love the freaking game. You know, if we, and we've recruit, if we've recruited guys that ain't motivated, we missed, period. You know, I don't care if you're six and seven or 15 and oh, man, I've been a part of both of those teams. It's really hard. This game is really hard, and what we ask them to do is really hard. So, man, if we, if we got to deal with motivation, we got problems. You know, now I think inspiration is another thing. I think it's a coach's job to inspire your guys and get him to play inspired ball. You know, but our guys are inspired. Our guys are motivated. Um, and I think competition always creates. Uh, it's good, man, iron on iron. You know, uh, iron sharpens one another. And there's going to be sparks flying, and but it's, it's all good, you know. And, uh, you know, it, look, look at the best teams across the, the country. You ain't going to one of those teams without competing. You know, and, and I, at the end of the day, I want to have a very, very competitive room, you know. And I tell my guys all the time, I say, man, you decide if you play or not. I don't decide the depth chart. You guys decide it. And so there's great awareness, but the motivation and inspiration is really good. Great question. One of the guys that got here and climbed the depth chart really quick, to your point there, uh, is our Mason Thomas. And Schmidt has put quite a bit of weight on him in yeah. the last couple of months. So. How excited are you for what he's? Yeah, doing he today? says that he was two fifteen when he got here. I was like, dude, no, you aren't. You are a liar. All right, but just an unbelievable person. You know, his mom is Gerald down there in Pompano, uh, Florida. Has raised him really, really well. Came from a great program, and um, he's busted his butt. You know, and he's just he's twitching now. You know, he's special, and uh, but just you know just. More maturation, man. Maturation in my technique, maturation in, in the weight room, uh, strength conditioning. You know, he's he's almost 240 pounds, and it's good. It's good. Good weight. You know, I, he always has to eat something in my meeting room. So literally, like, where's your peanut butter and sandwich at? And uh, and and defensive ends, edge players, and Coach V's defense, they do a lot. You know, you got to do it all. There's a one one young man that was asking me about. You know, recruiting, and he was like, "Well, what 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 end am I going to play?" I was like, "What do you mean?" He said, well, am I the strong side in? Am I the, the jack in? I was like, listen here, dude. If, if, if I'm recruiting you, you got to do it all. Okay, so I don't know who, what somebody else is telling you, but you got to drop. You got to blitz. You got to freaking rip. You got to go to the long stick. Uh, you got to set the edge. Um, you got to do it all. All right, welcome to Brent Venable's defense. Okay, if you don't like it, go down over there where they tell you you're going to be this guy. You know, but my pitch is like, listen, man, like, that's why the NFL has historically loved guys, defensive linemen and Brent Venable's defense. All right, because these scouts, they're watching guys, and they're either going to put a, a check mark by your name, an X, or a question mark. All right, can he drop? Well, I don't know. He ain't never done it. All right, well, can he stop the run? I don't know. He, he just always drops. And I think the great thing about us and all the, the first-rounders and defensive linemen we've had drafted um, under Coach V, regardless of whatever school he's been at, has been that there's not a lot of question marks for defensive linemen specifically the edge players. The scout goes, they hand the paper to the GM, they go, you can do it all, coach. You know, and so I think that's very attractive, and I think that's why we've had success getting some of the best players on campus to recruit. You talk about inspiration and competition, all those things with those uh, returning guys, but at the same time, how much of a challenge is it to, to handle things just mentally and emotionally when you're you know, bringing in um, you know, several several guys from the transfer? We, we, well, listen. You know, we want to be a, a we want to build our team out of the out of the high school draft, if you will. But that's the real world, buddy. <laughs> you kidding me? You know, like you want to go to the NFL. These guys that we're recruiting, they want to go to the NFL. Well, good luck. You know, when I played in the league, you know, I was there for having coffee with one guy, sitting in the seat, and, then, and I, literally at, after practice, he ain't there no more. And then I was one of those guys. I was having coffee, 
And uh, went to church on the Sunday. And I got a call from a Kansas City number I ain't never heard before. I was like, that's it. And uh, Miguel, coach, wants to see you. I was in Clemson, South Carolina by midnight, hugging my wife. You talk about the world, but that's life, man. You know, so you can't really control that. I mean, that's why we talk to our guys all the time about being your best. I can't control if I'm better than you, if you're better than me. I can't control that. So why waste time worrying about that? You know, be your best. Maximize your gifts that God has given you. And let the rest take care of it. All the guys that are looking around, and they're freaking, they am looking about him, and what's he doing good, or what he's doing good. Man, you're distracted. You're like a dog chasing cars. I can't control those things, man. Control the input. So um, that's, that's the message I give to my guys. I tell them competition's good. Um, I tell them we want to win a championship. This is Oklahoma. I'm never going to apologize for bringing great players in. I'm never going to apologize for uh, trying to assemble the be best defensive end group in, in the entire country. And then coaching those guys up well. Year one as a head or as a position coach. What did you? Please yeah, God, yeah. no. <laughs> year one Jesus, year. no. <laughs> what, what did you learn about yourself through year one, and how do you want to improve for year two yourself? I think you don't know what you don't know. You know, no matter how confident you are, or no matter how prepared you think you are, uh, I think the game of football is a great metaphor for life. There's uh, ignorance is bliss, and also very painful. Um, and so. I think um, I thought that it would be really fun. It's even more fun than I thought, which is crazy. I feel like I'm cheating life every day. You know, um, I love recruiting. I love coaching my guys. I love seeing them be successful. And I love building this thing with Coach Venables. You know, um, you know, nothing's ever easy. Like I said, you know, when we went 15-0 at Clemson, man, we beat Alabama 44-16 to in the national championship. That was really hard. Looked easy. It was really hard. The whole season was hard. Last year, six and seven, it didn't meet our standard, didn't meet our expectations, and losing the bowl game. And it's like, man, that's that's hard, you know. And so I think that whether you win, it's hard. Whether you lose, it's hard. So it's better to win. And the fun is in the winning. All right.